in this video, we're going to focus specifically on the voicemail integration to the MyCollab client. So you can use your MyCollab client to manage your voicemails. That way um, you don't have to check them on your phone or get them in your email or anything like that. You can actually do everything from the client to manage and keep up to date with your voicemail messages. So once you've uh, launched the client, um, hopefully watch some of the other videos that we've already put out um, on uh, how to launch the client, how to install the client, and the basic configuration of the client. Uh, so this one specifically, we want to focus around the voicemail uh, messages tab down here. And so the first time you go to the voicemail messages tab, it's going to ask you to put in your PIN number for your voicemail. So it's very important to make sure that you've already set up your voicemail from your phone before you do this. If you put the default PIN number in here, it will work and it will connect to the voicemail system and you can start getting messages and, and managing them here. However, as soon as you set up your voicemail the first time, it's going to make you change your PIN number and then this will stop working. You'll have to go back in here and change your PIN. So I've already set up my voicemail box using the instructions given to me by my system administrator. Um, I just now I'll just need to go ahead and um, and add the pin number that I set my voicemail box to. I'll put the pin number in here and save it so that this connects to my voicemail. I'll go ahead and do that. Put the pin number in. As long as it matches, it'll let you update the pin. Once it updates, it should go ahead and query your mailbox and come back and let you know uh, what messages you have in your box. So um, right now I have one voicemail message in my box currently. So it's uh, so once you have that, if you have multiple messages in here, it'll have a whole list of messages here. If you click on the all, it'll show all your messages. Unread will just show the messages that are never been read before that are new. And red will show any messages that you've already listened to. So if we click on the message here, once you select it, then you can do multiple things with it down here. You can play the message, you can delete it, you can forward it to another user, or on this option here, you can actually request a playback where you can click on it and tell it what to call, what device to call in order to play back the message to you on that device. So if you don't have speakers and you want it to play over your phone, you can click one of these options here and it'll come across your phone. So this needs to be made sure that this is enabled by your system administrator to work Otherwise, it won't function, but it should be um, ready to go for you. So, and then, so we're just going to try to click it here over the speaker. So, if I hit play, it'll actually get into the voicemail system and you can listen to the message right here. So, once you're done, or you can pause it, whatever. Or if I want to forward it to another user, I just click this here put in the extension number of the person I want to forward it to and hit forward and that will take the message, a copy of the message and forward it off to the other user. So the other thing that's nice about using, managing it here in the client is if this was an unread message, my light would be blinking on my phone. Once I play it in here and it goes to a red message, it'll shut the light off on my phone automatically. Um, if I delete it from here, if I delete it from here, um, it'll actually delete it out of my mailbox and it won't be in my it won't be accessible in my mailbox either so make sure that you're really ready to delete it before you delete that so um, if you right click on it um, you can actually do everything you're doing down here just a little bit differently you can actually call the person back from right here if you wanted to do that instead of um, actually um, check the message if this was an outside number it would show an outside telephone number on who it came from so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and delete this message out of here. Uh, you can select this if you don't want this to pop up every time you want to delete it. It's just confirming that you want to delete it. And that will remove the message out of my box. Now I no longer have any messages. And that's pretty much it for the voicemail tab. Thank you.